Now this, as you can see, is the Julius Scott Cemetery. And very nice. It's in Turkey Toe, Kentucky. How you like that name, guys? Turkey Toe. That's cool, ain't it? And then right there's Julius Scott and Polly Sissy Scott. But uh, Julius Scott and Polly, they're right up there. I'll show them to you when we get there. Julius Scott was born the third and youngest child of Henderson and Vicey Farley Scott of Pond Creek, Kentucky. On December 6, 1900, he married Polly Sissy Hatfield, and together they had 10 children. The couple lived on Blackberry Creek across from Polly's parents, and they built a home on Blackberry Pork on the property given to them by Vicey Scott. They moved into this home in May 1914 and lived there throughout their lives. Julius worked hard all of his life driving a supply wagon for Ford's and Coal Company. He also worked as a carpenter and a farmer. He enjoyed trading horses and mules in his spare time. After his retirement, he continued to work with his family in the Narrows Branch Old Regular Baptist Church, of which he had been a member since June 10, 1949. He was baptized by the elders, Harold Edmonds and Henry C. Maynard. When his wife of 34 years died, he was left to raise their children alone. Since he never remarried, during the last 20 years or more of his life, he suffered from diabetes. However, he never stopped serving others. He told stories of the Hatfield-McCoy feud, helped family members with their gardens, and let his grandchildren ride his horses. After 82 years, of many happy memories, he died of a stroke at 12.05 a.m. March 15, 1961. He is buried beside his wife in the Julius Scott Cemetery on Blackberry Fork in Pike County, Kentucky, and the cemetery is named after him. And here's Sissy. Polly Sissy Hatfield Scott was the youngest of Elder Anderson and Polly Runyon Hatfield's 14 children. Now, Elder Anderson, who is the cousin of the infamous feud participant, Devil Ants Hatfield. At 16 years old, on December 6, 1900, she married Julius Scott. Four years later, they began their family. Within 22 years, their 10 children had been born. Polly was sick for many years before her death, suffering from a bad heart, quote unquote, and complications from menopause or the change of life. She was so sick from the flu when her first daughter, Maud, was born that she did not even know Maud had been born until 17 days later. It was the same day she also learned that her 11-year-old son, Ermine, had died of the same flu she was inflicted with. Polly spent her days, like most women of her time, raising her children, keeping her house. She was a member of the Primitive Baptist Church. She died one week before her 51st birthday and is buried in the Julius Scott Cemetery beside her husband. Polly's father was widely known for his involvement in the Hatfield-McCoy feud as a person who baptized Randall McCoy and presided over the hog trial to determine whether Randall McCoy or Floyd Hatfield was the disputed hog's rightful owner. This memorial meeting that you're looking at has been going on for more than 70 years and it is always the third Saturday in July. It is the Julius and Polly Hatfield Scott Memorial get-together, and they do it at the historic hog trial cabin, which once belonged to Preacher Ants Hatfield, the cousin of Devil Ants Hatfield. Huh. It's cool to see, you know, cemeteries well taken care of. A lot of the ones we go to, that's not the case. Uh, oh, while I'm at it, the feud graves right here are the Scots. There's Julius W. Scott 
1878 to 1961 and here's sissy right here and there's another feud grave right here as well this is henderson scott also a, well, a few descendant hmm now shot in the leg huh hmm imagine that Henderson Scott was the ninth child of Daniel and Nancy Stafford Scott and the grandson of William and Elizabeth Scott. He married Vicey Farley uh, on September 15, 1872, and together they had three children, Allie, Parley, and Julius. They made their home at Blackberry Fork in Pike County, Kentucky at the time of the Hatfield-McCoy feud. Henderson was traveling on horseback to Pikeville, Kentucky when he was shot in the leg by someone mistaking him for a member of the other family. He did not live long afterwards and died on uh, May 5th, 1915. His daughter, Parley, almost became a victim of, a, of the feud when she stayed at Randall McCoy's house the night before it was burned by the Hatfields. Wow! Henderson's wife, Vicey, died on March 7th, 1924. They are both buried in the Julius Scott Cemetery. Though it is true that Henderson Maynard Scott was traveling on horseback with his brother John Book Scott during the Hatfield-McCoy feud, and Henderson was shot in the shoulder and John Book was shot in the knee, they had been mistaken as being one of the McCoys supposedly by the Hatfields. Even though that is true, I looked up his death certificate, and I did find that on April 26, 1915, he was accidentally hurt when he was struck by a rolling log. And then he died from that rolling log, May 15th, 1915. So he didn't technically die from the gunshot. I am a stickler for, for facts because at the end of the day, they matter. Wow. Real history, guys. Real stuff right there. <laughs> 